That's right, Chris. So as those storms get very active during the summertime, the lightning does as well. Now, fortunately, the lightning fatality trend is going downwards. It is still significantly high, though, but we're seeing that trend go downwards because we have more protocols and safety education tools in place in order to help keep people safe during those stormy summer afternoons. When thunder roars go indoors or if you you see a flash dash inside. Lightning can reach temperatures as high as 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit and ultimately lead to death if you are struck. Every year we average about 43 lightning fatalities, but that number has been coming down significantly. So far this year, there have been 14 lightning related fatalities, three of which were in the Carolinas and Georgia. And while summertime brings more people outside, Water and sports related activities like high school practices are two of the leading causes of lightning fatalities. Athletic trainer Samantha Nance explains some of the safety measures they have in place when it comes to inclement weather. Anytime lightning's within 10 miles, we go ahead and bring everybody inside. Day after day, we're running into heat protocol, we're running into lightning protocol. It may, it's just difficult for the kids to sometimes get practice in. So. You kind of run into the, am I doing the right thing? Absolutely, always keeping the kids safe is the right thing. Lightning can strike as far as 10 miles outside the main thunderstorm. So the window before and after a storm is crucial. People are waiting too long to take shelter and they're not waiting long enough before going back outside. A good rule of thumb to follow is the 30-30 rule. Wait 30 minutes after the last rumble of thunder before going back outdoors. One in 10 lightning strikes occur outside of where that main thunderstorm cloud is. Safe places are four walled buildings. Inside an actual structure is, is a safe place to go. Inside a metal top car, if there's no other place. Never ever wait too long where you are the tall object and never take shelter near a tall object. And those are important things to keep in mind as we are still in the summertime. People are at those high school practices or out of the park just trying to enjoy this warm weather. But if you take those protocols, it'll keep you and your family safe as we close out the rest of the summer. Live in Greenville with WYFF News 4, I'm meteorologist Sydney Sullivan.